We're here at the Trustees Ballroom and we're about to have an uh, interview with the President of Rwanda, Paul Kagame. It was extremely impressive. I mean, I've only been at BU for three months, but to have access uh, to the Rwandan president, um, I have to, you know, credit my professor. I spent some time there working on a book which focused on the modern history of Rwanda as well as its uh, earlier past and had a chance to get to meet many Rwandans. I spent a good deal of time interviewing the president and that has given me a continuing connection. In what ways is and to what extent should Rwanda keep the memory of the genocide alive through physical memorials, through media, and through the history textbook? Rwanda it's a very interesting case because from the genocide has emerged such a vibrant culture and they really are a model of development. Any country that can give us an idea about how to make poor countries stop being poor is going to have a huge impact on the world. Many people in the development business believe that Rwanda has a chance to do this. So they are the apologetic about being out there and uh, Taking my mind and doing the best I can in the best interest of my people? No, I won't apologize. I am very happy to be part of this continuous progress that I am seeing in my country. Students are writing papers on particular aspects of Rwanda. They have a chance through this interview to gain insights that they couldn't gain anywhere else. They can ask the president a question related to their own research paper. The president gets an idea of what people in the outside world are thinking about Rwanda. What are their questions about Rwanda? I could tell that the president was impressed and understood that these were students who had been deeply engaged in these issues, and I think the president really appreciated that. 